I'm Ken Coleman, and welcome to Daily Doodles 22. 22. Uh, I, that, I guess that would be for you. 20. Never mind. <laughs> so, welcome to Daily Doodles 22. The subject of this doodle is the continuing product, the continuing project for this love lock that I found on a overpass going right over the Mass Pike. I was in Boston one day and I saw this little love lock hanging from the chain link fence at the close to the corner of Mass Ave in Newberry Street. And it is one of many locks that resemble people's relationships, that symbolize people's relationships. And I thought it was so sweet. It was simple. It was the shape and the color are iconic. And you see all that dirt, all that rock salt that's been sprayed at it, those little scratches at the edges, and it is still hanging together. It's still solid. And if you, the couple that put that lock up, are still together, congrats and thank you for this little piece of inspiration to all us hopeless romantics. All right, so I'm just going to take down that. That is from um, last night's piece. And today we're going to start by first working to flesh out the heart a little bit more. Not speaking literally, this isn't going to be a real beating heart. This, you know, it's not going to be that type of thing, but giving it more character, giving it more shades of color. It's not going to be like the horse in Wizard of Oz, but it has so many different tones. And I think that it's going to take a fair amount of time to do it justice. Because I've got the signs here, scratches. white nicks and marks and I think that the impression the imperfections make this heart all the more perfect It is like stamps and stickers on an old steamer trunk or I know a couple that collects wine corks from the span of their relationship. Each of these little marks is sort of like a keepsake from all that this heart has sustained and still it is holding solid yeah I'm a romantic but you know that
Wet marks are going to go down here. Um, down. Now, if these are what I think they are, a lot of this I suspect to be from the rock salt. It's a little chemical stain that washes off in the rain. But this is just after Boston faced a um, sizable blizzard. Some people were calling it a snowpocalypse or snowmageddon. This is about a week later. And as cars are going across, going up Mass Ave, the tires probably spray some of the rock salt slush on here. And when it dries, it marks up this lock. That's just my theory of how it got all these nicks and marks. I think it's nice. Like when you're seeing a prop replica being made on if you watch Tested or uh, Cosplay Chris. Chris is a uh, Aussie who does a lot of modifications to toys and cosplay costumes, making it look like they're in the real movies. And an important thing is making them look a little weathered, while not completely destroying them. Because that shows just what this heart has gone through. really important. So I'm going to take note of this hexadecimal code D36 D80 D36 D80 because that way I can get lighter with one and I can get darker with the other. The hexadecimal codes are designations of six digits, each using anywhere within the first ten digits, first the first ten numerals, zero through nine, and then the first six letters, A through F. So that one is D36, D80. And each of those designations represents a different color that my computer, your computer, any computer recognizes. So I've got that. Getting a feel for where the scuff marks all are. This is reminding me of when I drew a piece 
that was of a little chocolate that I made. A little heart piece chocolate for Valentine's Day. And I hadn't tempered the chocolate yet. I hadn't made sure that it would come out all polished when um, set. So it had its nicks and marks and some places were smoother than others. Didn't look like a piece of Ghirardelli that you'd buy or uh, or Russell Stover or Hershey's. But those little markings they made for a great exercise as a still life. And it tasted pretty good too. This. Oh, those little scuff marks. Slightly scuffed. I can't help feel that this is slightly uh, voyeurism because I'm embracing the enthusiasm and the romance and the passion of someone else's relationship, not in the same way that they are. And it's also like the famous Time magazine, where the sailor and the nurse are embracing. Or if people are reading a love story that is based on true life, and they, feel, they reach one of those ah moments. Just like this. I've seen Love Locks. I've seen a one Hallmark Channel movie about Love Locks. There is a famous bridge in Prague where people leave these locks. I have a feeling that these hold a lot of weight and if you've left a if you've left a lock somewhere, comment below if you'd like to share your story. Whether it's at this bridge in Boston or not, it's a pretty cool symbol. too much. I think that I'll add a little 
bit of red afterwards. Right, so one more step of white and off white first. Touches Now it's time to bring it back down to earth. Feel a little bit like one of those restoration, one of those antique restoration people. But you have to make it look like it was new, but like it still has some stories to tell. Just the right shape. Some red showing up underneath. Some marks there. Marks there, marks and marks and marks. something here.
but before I finish up for the day, I need to try getting these edges done and introduce some of the gray that is going to be here in the bolt. So first we add dark tones right in there. I rarely take the direct route when I'm working on one of my impressionist pieces. You're going with some light, you're going with some dark, and you, I, I bounce back and forth, pushing and pulling, and kneading this dough into a form that I'm happy with. And then I start bringing out the details. Yeah. And then get a little bit darker. Going up here, and then there out, make it lighter. Yeah. Gradually working my way up. Closer. There. And now for some uh, that. There we are. Now to quickly do a little bit of light work on the bolt and this little part. So we got to get I'm going to start out at a very dark tone, darker, that should work. Just swing down there. stainless steel and even that dented steel down there it is different color than the chain link so I'm going to reserve my attention to the fence for another time
gradually lighten it up. Yeah. Even with all this is weathered, it's retaining its form. Going to create that in the second panel, four, five, four, six, four, seven. Four, five, four, six, four, seven. And gradually make this lighter. And gray, gray. Pushing that gray up further. There's a little scuff mark there. Lighter. Just move closer to realizing that bolt. Feel that a big part of being an impressionist painter, yeah, painter slash drawer, impressionist artist, is having a great understanding of how light reflects off of different surfaces. Around. Getting a little splotchy, which it's supposed to. Mark. Mark. Good. 
as we gradually make our way up this grayscale. Closer and closer with each shade. I might end up bringing some outline to this in the end, just because there is so little contrast between some of the contours of this gray and the concrete on the side of this building. It just will not do. A little artistic liberty by the sake of this piece. Gray at the base. Along here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lightly. Till we reach this. And that builds the way for this mark, this mark, and this mark. Darken that. And add a little bit of line. Right here, right there. That's the Love lock is the focal point. Think that there is all the more freedom to create some outline and jut it out towards you, me, or any viewer. And that should do it. And that should do for the night. So
I'm Ken Coleman, and this has been the Daily Doodle 22. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, please give it the thumbs up. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Two thumbs if possible. And uh, sorry, I'm watching the viewfinder. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up down below. There's also the option to subscribe. And any of my new videos will come up in your subscription queue. The last option is the little bell, which will notify you via email when any new video is up. So thank you for watching. If you have any comments, if you have any suggestions on our topics, please fill them out in the comments below. Thank you and have a good one. Bye.